Welcome to ANSYS HFSS. This video demonstrates differential signal to common signal mode conversion with HFSS 3D layout and HFSS MCAD fully arbitrary 3D FEM simulation. We're looking at a differential via through a multi-layer printed circuit board structure in ANSYS HFSS 3D layout. This is 3D finite element method electromagnetic simulation in an interface optimized for layered structures. Here we see the layer stack up for this design. We can unfill the layers to see the differential via pair and the two adjacent return path vias. The differential input is microstrip on the top layer. The output is strip line on layer 3 L10. Selecting the lower two traces, we can move the output traces to a different layer by simply reassigning their layer. Go to Properties, choose layer 2L5. Notice how the coupled wave port moved with the traces to layer 2L5. Let's undo that operation. Go to the ribbon. Viewing from the top, the port terminals are labeled in the standard format for S parameters. S21 is transmission and S11 is reflection. Here are the single ended S parameters for ports 1 and 2, that is, terminals 1 and 2. For the differential pairs, the microstrip traces coming in from the left on the top layer come from port 1. Next we're going to look at mode conversion, the conversion of differential signal into common signal is caused by asymmetry in the structure. Because this structure is very symmetrical, we expect the mode conversion terms both reflection and transmission to be very low. For further technical discussion of mode conversion, refer to this book, Signal and Power Integrity Simplified by Eric Bogatin. SCD11 is the reflection S parameter showing the conversion of differential signal going into port 1 to common signal coming out of port 1. We see levels of about minus 55 dB at 19.5 GHz. Using the S parameter format with the to port number before the from port number, mixed mode S parameters add the additional variable of common or differential. SCD21 is the transmission S parameter showing the conversion of differential signal entering port 1 to common signal exiting port 2. We see that the SCD21 signal level remains below minus 60 dB. Let's copy our two via design. Right click on the design and select copy. Right click on the project name, select paste. The copy will include the results plots. To make the design asymmetrical or unbalanced, remove one of the return path vias. Select and hit the delete key.
rename the design to reflect the change to only one return path via. When we remove one of the return path vias, we break the balance. Now we can simulate this new asymmetrical design. From the unbalanced asymmetrical structure, we expect lower performance. Here are the single-ended S parameters for this unbalanced design. Here is the reflection S parameter SCD11 showing mode conversion. Nearly minus 24 dB at 17.5 GHz. We see that SCD11 is much higher for the unbalanced case. We can overlay the results to compare the balanced and unbalanced reflection simulations on one plot. The mode conversion is tens of dB lower for the balanced design than for the unbalanced design. Let's move to transmission. Here is the transmission S parameter, SCD21, for this asymmetric design. We see that SCD21 is much higher for the single return via design, nearly minus 23 dB at 19.5 GHz. We can overlay the results to compare the two cases balanced and unbalanced. We see much better mode conversion transmission performance for the symmetric to via design. We have been working in the HFSS 3D layout design type, sometimes called ECAD. Now let's look at a differential via structure in HFSS MCAD. Here we have a differential via structure, fully arbitrary 3D. Traditional HFSS MCAD is also 3D finite element method simulation. This driven terminal design has coupled wave ports like the HFSS 3D layout we just saw. The 3D modeler is completely general. The 3D modeler tree shows geometric objects and the commands that made those objects. The 40 GHz differential pair design has oblong clearance holes in the planes. There are several ground return path vias symmetrically placed around the signal vias. Here are the differential S parameters for the case of symmetrical return path vias. Let's look at the mode conversion reflection S parameters for this symmetric design. The SCD11 signal peaks at about minus 49 dB, near 36 gigahertz. Looking at SCD21, the transmission, differential to common, mode conversion, we see that it peaks below minus 56 dB at 39 gigahertz. Now consider an asymmetrical design with return path vias missing on one side. There are no return path vias around the blue signal trace on the right. Here is SCD11 for the unbalanced case getting up to about minus 20 dB beyond 30 gigahertz. The SCD11 signals from balanced and unbalanced can be overlaid. The reflection is tens of dB higher for the asymmetrical design than for the symmetrical design. Next look at the SCD21 for the asymmetrical case. This transmission mode conversion also gets up to about minus 20 dB near the top of the band. 
Here is the SCD21 symmetrical signal overlaid on the asymmetrical signal. The asymmetry in the return path vias increases mode conversion by tens of dB. With ANSYS HFSS, we can see mode conversion behavior in detail, whether using the 3D layout design type optimized for layered structures like printed circuit boards, or whether we use the fully arbitrary 3D MCAD design type. Thank you for using ANSYS HFSS.